In recent weeks, a strange but incredibly powerful wave of rumors has begun to sweep through the tech industry, literally blowing up industry forums, insider channels, and private analyst chats. The talk is that NVIDIA, a company that dominates artificial intelligence so strongly today that its influence is compared to the influence of oil in the 20th century, is preparing for the most unexpected and possibly the most ambitious move in its history. NVIDIA's leadership is seriously considering entering the aerial transportation market. Not just drones, not just unmanned vehicles, but a full-fledged flying craft, a hybrid between a flying car and next-generation individual eVTOL transport. And what is especially important is that this is no longer about futuristic lab-level ideas. According to the information, several senior engineers from the Autonomous Systems and Omniverse divisions have confirmed that the company is conducting preliminary market analysis and studying the assets of the world's leading urban air mobility developers. This is why more and more analysts now claim NVIDIA will not build its flying machine from scratch. It is too long, too complex, and too risky, even for a giant that is used to winning. It is far more logical to acquire an existing developer and then turn it into a global leader thanks to its GPU, its AI platform, and its unlimited computing power. Supporting this version is the fact that the company's financial capacity today is virtually unmatched. NVIDIA's market capitalization exceeds $4 trillion, and its net reserves allow it to acquire literally any company in the eVTOL sector, including the largest players. According to Financial Times sources, in recent months, NVIDIA representatives have indeed held informal consultations with at least three manufacturers of aeromobility platforms. Insiders claim that although official negotiations have not begun, the interest was not merely academic. And this forces a completely different view of the strategy of a company that has spent the past decade steadily building the foundation for the future of autonomous transportation, but has never directly stated that it would create its own aircraft. But here's the paradox. If you look at what NVIDIA has been doing in recent years, the picture fits almost perfectly. First, the company is a key supplier of computing platforms for most developers of future flying taxis. American Joby Aviation, one of the world's most advanced EV tall companies, uses NVIDIA Jetson and Cloud GPU for navigation, simulation, and autonomous flight algorithms. Another company, Archer Aviation, according to Bloomberg, is testing some elements of its autonomous system on NVIDIA GPU. Chinese giant Ehang, which already has commercial certification in China, builds a significant part of its analytics and obstacle detection systems on NVIDIA Orin. And Whisk Aero, a Boeing subsidiary, is developing a fully autonomous air taxi. And it is NVIDIA that provides them with omniverse simulations, without which such projects are fundamentally impossible. Even Airbus and Boeing, according to public reports, use NVIDIA Omniverse and Isaac Sim to model aerodynamics, train AI pilots, and run safety scenarios in virtual environments. In other words, NVIDIA is already the brain of the industry. It does not produce the flying machines themselves, but it controls their neural system. That is why many experts are convinced. The question is not whether NVIDIA can create its own aircraft. The question is when it will decide to do so. And this is where things get most interesting. According to sources familiar with Jensen Huang's logic, the company traditionally enters a market only when it can completely overturn it. That's how it was with gaming GPUs. That's how it was with AI GPU. That's how it was with generative neural networks. That's how it was with the auto industry. And now, as the urban air mobility sector is experiencing an explosion of interest, NVIDIA understands that it is precisely its technologies that can make flying machines mass market. According to Wall Street Journal, Global investments in the EV tall market in 2024 to 2025 exceeded $20 billion, and regulators in the US, UAE, and China are accelerating certification of autonomous aerial vehicles. China is launching its first urban air taxi services in Shenzhen next year, Dubai is preparing for test operations, and the US expects its first limited routes by 2026. 
And it is against this backdrop that NVIDIA has begun discussing a question that just a couple of years ago sounded like science fiction. What if the company itself could become the main player in the new industry? Moreover, NVIDIA already has a unique element that no one else on the market possesses, the gigantic Omniverse simulation ecosystem, which allows fully training autonomous systems in a virtual world with millimeter-level accuracy. While other companies spend years building a real prototype, NVIDIA can train its digital twin in a few months and bring a ready model to real-world testing much faster than competitors. This is why, according to Reuters sources, the company is discussing a scenario in which NVIDIA acquires one of the existing leaders, such as Joby, Archer, or Whisk, integrates its own AI stack into it, incorporates Omniverse into the full development cycle, and brings a new aircraft to market two to three times faster than competitors could. To speak frankly, almost all analysts agree on one thing. If NVIDIA decides to enter aeromobility, then within a few years we will see the first aircraft fully based on artificial intelligence. According to several industry publications, a board meeting at which the preliminary development plan for the Aerial Transportation Division is to be discussed is scheduled for next year. It is there that a historic decision may be made, the launch of the company's own flying prototype project. And if this happens, then in the coming years, we may see the first public demonstration of an NVIDIA flying machine, a craft that will challenge the entire automotive industry, overturn the autonomous transport market, and define what mobility in the 2030s will look like. Experts are already comparing the potential impact to what SpaceX once achieved when it entered the market from scratch and destroyed the established launch services sector, making space accessible. NVIDIA could do the same, but in the air. And if insiders are right, 2026 will become the point from which a new era begins, an era in which machines not only drive but fly, and where NVIDIA becomes the player that will forever change the idea of the future of transportation. What is especially noteworthy, according to Morgan Stanley analysts, is that NVIDIA has the one advantage that can secure absolute dominance, the ability to train flying machines entirely in digital space. In the automotive industry, it has already become normal for autopilots to be trained not on roads but in simulation. In aviation, this is even more crucial, Tens of millions of dangerous scenarios, turbulence, engine failures, sudden gusts of wind, urban canyons, dense traffic over megacities, are impossible to safely reproduce in reality. But NVIDIA can simulate every such moment, every second, every pixel of a future flight. This capability, experts say, may be the reason why NVIDIA can outpace even the most experienced aviation players. It does not build airplanes, it builds the digital world in which those airplanes learn. Therefore, if the decision to create its own aircraft is made, it will effectively complete its entire life cycle even before its first real-world flight, from development to testing. And this is likely why people behind the scenes say that an NVIDIA prototype could appear not in five or six years, as is typical for traditional manufacturers, but literally within a year or two after the project begins. It will be the world's first flying machine created by AI, trained by AI, and controlled by AI. And this is precisely what scares competitors the most.